Roger Cador's career as Southern University baseball coach began quite humbly. His first task was to sort through ragged, dirty uniforms and a few pieces of much-worn equipment that were stuffed into an old, rusty grocery cart. From that beginning came historic moments for the Jaguars that brought national attention to the program and in time to Lee Hines Field on the Southern campus. He did a uh, yeoman's job and had some great players. I mean, one of super athletes, uh, played in the big leagues, uh, first guy to win, you know, a SWAC game in the uh, NCAA playoffs, and uh, many, many, many other good things that he did in starting what I would consider in a very, very tough, tough uh, environment regarding resources. He was the first coach to lead an historically black college program to a win in the NCAA regionals in 1987 against Cal Fullerton. He remains the only coach at an HBCU program to produce a Golden Spikes Award winner for the best amateur baseball player in the country. A, a walking a, a, a lawyer, he's a walking um, judge. He, he's a guy that everybody knows, everybody loves. Um, he's very you know, energetic, especially when it comes to baseball, but. Uh, the one thing that people don't uh, understand about him is that he really loves his kids. He really loves his his his, uh, his players, uh, you know, at Southern University, and uh, that's why we're grateful for him uh, uh, being there, being being our coach. When he retired in 2017, Kador had finished with more than 900 victories and 14 SWAC titles. His Jaguars were in 11 regionals, but none more important in many ways than that 1987 year in New Orleans. At that time, there wasn't even 64 teams. You know, there were only 46. All right, and uh, we uh, Southern winning uh, helped us all. Uh, in baseball, indicating that, uh, you know, baseball being what it is, you know, on any given day, and that really helped us. And But, but more than that, Roger handled the, the win with the same, you know, class and dignity uh, that he deals with when he deals with all people. Uh, he's really not just the baseball coach. He's really more than that. He's really skilled with people. Roger is very, very proud of the things he did, uh, you know, getting lights, uh, which Skip helped with when he was the AD, getting the lights at Lee Hines. They told him he'd never have a baseball field, but he got the mayor and other people involved. That's what Roger was so talented at. He could bring people together, you know, from all around the city. Everybody loved him, and they all wanted to help him, and he wasn't afraid to ask people for help, and that was really a big thing. A lot of people, you know, it's very difficult to ask for help, but Roger was never afraid to do that. 